Hi everyone. Good afternoon. It's me, Shalama. I am in my craft room. My son is down here with me playing his game. And I got the two dogs is here with me. Princess and Shepherd. And uh, my daughter getting ready to go to work. My husband is at work. So I am going to, sh I am making three journal for Christmas gift for three, um, three wonderful people and special in our life. And um, the three wonderful pe people is my neighbor, my husband, best friend, and one of my best friend. So instead of go buy them something, I want to make them journal a junk journal for them so i'm going to show you guys some of the pocket i start making out of um envelopes and um out of card envelopes and out of recycle envelopes so we're going to do two of them i'm going to share with you guys a pocket that i created using a regular envelopes so this is two regular envelopes we'll put that aside for now and i am going to get four pocket out of this because i am making three journal i am getting almost all my embellishment ready i got the cover ready and i got the page and everything ready i need my pocket and um that embellishment to put on it so I got me some strip that I got from my scrap box and I'm not gonna measure it I'm just gonna glue it on and make it into a center and first I want to say share with you guys this is what I done with some of them I glue a strip in the middle and the first thing I did I glue the flap like that then I glue a strip in the middle like so and I cut it in the middle when you cut it in the middle you get two pocket and I put this in there for all the slip like you know this is already ready all I gotta do glue them down to my page and decorate it the way I want it so these are all ready so here goes my princess. These are the, all the ones I made. I made all these yesterday. Actually, last night when I was watching TV, I made all of these. And these are scraps from my scrap box that I've been making my journal with. I take all the strips and I just glue it on and cut, seal the envelope and cut it in half. And that's how I got all these slip pockets to put in my journal. So the slip pocket is ready. All my slip pocket is ready. So I'm going to show you guys how I did my um, slip pocket. So this is all my slip pocket. We're going to glue this down. I Bye. My daughter leaving for work closing right yeah okay oh, be careful love you okay, okay we're gonna close this huh? oh, close the door. She to yeah she said closing my daughter Lee she walked she went through my craft room is like right and above the ground so it's a walking walking craft cellar so now we're gonna glue this onto here we seal the envelope we're gonna glue this on to here I'm just gonna put some glue right in the center and we're gonna glue this down right in the center of this envelope I need some more glue on this side, so I'll just put some more glue on this side. Let's 
close this up. I had to put a new um, something here. My son is itching just to say hi. Go like this, wave in the middle. There you go, there's your hand. He wants to say hi. So this is all I did. I'll let this dry. And that's all I did to my envelope. And all you gotta do to make the package is glue this down. Or if you have the, um, what do you call those, double-sided tape, you put two pieces, one at each end or one in the middle. If you have the white one, you could do that too. But I have two ready, so I'll show you guys. I have this one, it's already dried and glued. And this one here, I already cut the part out of it. So we're gonna cut these. If you have these, you can use the double-sided tape too. So we are going to cut this. I'm using my scissors. And we got that piece goes in my scrub box. Now we're gonna cut this in half. Put this aside. Let that one let this one dry. And that one goes in that. I might change the color, I'm not sure. So I'll put that aside. I need my cutter. goes there this I am working on a few gifts this year I want to give the gift that I may handmade gift this year for a few people so now we are going to cut this can you guys see me okay we'll have to move some stuff I got stuff I'll put that up there okay you guys can see me there, right? We are going to cut this. And I'm just eyeballing it. Some of the pocket might be big and some of the pocket might be small. So it's junk journal. So, And we'll just cut down the middle. And we got two pockets. And the two pocket is right there. Like you, uh, I don't have a book. I should have a book, huh? Um, I want to show you guys how am I going to use them, but I don't have a book. Wait, let me use this book. This is a scrapbook that I use. This is your book. You just put your pocket on there. You don't have to make it. It's already made. You just put your glue or whatever on there. You put it on there. And for example... And you stick your note in there. You stick your whatever in there and your pocket is done. Easy peasy. That's how I've been making pocket last night. I've been making a lot of pockets. I have some more envelopes that I want to do. But I want to finish this tree journal that I'm working on so hard to get finished. So these are some of the pockets. And I am going to put um, like a little journal... I have a hole here ready. I'm going to put a string so it hangs out so they know there's something in there. And then they could journal in here. So this is going to go in, in here. There goes my tuck spot or my side pocket or whatever you want to call them. So that's that. We're going to cut this one too. I am just going to eyeball it and we'll go from there. Then we're gonna have my I need to get me a new blade for my machine. And there we go guys. We got two more pockets and the same thing is already made for you. All you gotta do when you go to the Goodwill or um red, white, and blue and the dollar store and they got um these on sale just pick them up mine came from all came from the red white and blue and I have boxes of envelopes that I am going to use up so this is one way I am getting my pot my side pocket ready for my journal so this is a lot and I am going to make some more and leave it in a different video so another video I might show you guys oh here's another one in another video I might show you guys how, how I probably 
covered it with something different beside putting a strip in the middle but I want to do something like really nice on them instead of have a plain plain like have this I want something more so I am going to do that with some of them and um, one more I want to share with you guys I've been working on I've been working on these these are all my um, pocket I've been making I've been making a lot of pockets and my pockets been made out of recycle let me get a piece of recycle envelopes this one that stuck from the glue you could do a stock uh, this one that stuck over here okay you could do like that and then when you put it like you can see the recycle and what you could do is they're not done yet I have to trim the edges I have to um if you want you can make four pocket out of this one here because you have a tuck spot you have a pocket and then you if depends on the way how you glue it on you could glue it like this and um let me grab a piece of paper and then you have another pocket like that in the back so i've been making these since last night all these pockets i made last night plus these and they're very simple and easy to do you could pull out a, a, a let me see how much i made uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. That's a dozen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I made two dozen and one pocket from last night. Last night I made some before we watch a movie, and I've been working on them in my craft room today. And there's some different colors in different um, different patterns of papers, and um, these are all different patterns. Uh, some of them I did use more than one time because I want to use it up, and they're going in separate journals, so it doesn't matter. I have to um, clean the edges. These are all different ones I've been making. these are all this one here is like more like I don't know the color I like the color the black the black and the orange and the almost lime green I like these these are going in a um, almost in a vintage um, not vintage uh, um, a journal that I'm creating for my husband friend so I made these all these to go in his journal and all these over here I made for not all of them but some of them for the other two journals so I have to I have to separate them so I am going to show you guys how I made mine so we got two envelope here I have no idea what I done with my glue so let's get these and put them up to the side and they are recycled envelopes um, that's how much envelopes and I have more these are the reuse the one that you reused and I have all these more to make envelope make pockets out of so I have a lot see I pack them really neat so they're I sort them out and I got it stuck next to me in next to my um my scrapbooking paper and um, yep so I am going to work to make some more so I'm going to show you guys how I put mine together there's different ways you could do do it so I got two different envelopes this one here I am not going to use the pockets so we'll make um, let me see um, we we'll made another green we could do another green one let's see okay um, my hands are itching um, it is hard 
when you cannot. I got my box of scrap, but I'll use my regular paper for now. I have no idea where I put it. Oh, right here. I have this, this here. So we'll use these. We got that. We could do that with the green. That looks good. I'm gonna do one of those. We could add. Um, I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna save those. You guys see what I'm doing? I am just picking out papers, so bear with me. We can make this one. Make one with those two. So. These I got from the um, drift store, so I just want to put some in my friends' them yeah. journals. And Jennifer, what are you I want to, I want to make some for myself also. And um, I, I did found uh, two friends that I did. Um, journal swap with and I'm so happy I am going to probably in the next video share my swap with you guys this is a scrap so I am going to go with some scrap for the side right now so I'm just going through my little uh, just a little box over here I'm trying to come up with a one of the color that I really like but I can't find it um, we'll do, that won't work. Oh. Sorry. My son is, I don't know, that, 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 I don't know, it's crap, so it doesn't matter. I am going to measure my flap. I am going to take my pen, I'm going to draw around it. We're going to cut this out. Okay, we got this part ready. This goes here. Now, which one do I want to wear? Let's see. Let's see. That's that looks pretty. So we got that. I am going to flip. And as you guys notice, I am using my scissors and I am going to cut. Then I am going to cut again over here. That's the front, okay? And this is for the little tuck spot right here, okay? Those we can put in the scrub box. Over here, you don't, we don't need that bigger piece, so we're gonna have to eyeball it and cut it. So I am going to cut it like right here. You don't need a bigger piece for the top over here. All you need, just a little piece. To go on there so let's put this together my glue i am using eileen i think it's fabric fabric i don't know i'm using eileen glue i had these for a long time so it's all smudged out it's not there anymore so i decided to find all my little bottles of glue i went through all the little ones that i had so we're going to put this on here. And guys, if you guys know somebody already did this, please let me know. Okay. And we got this. We're going to do this. And what I do... 
I just give mine a little bit of, instead of put a tiny piece of paper, I add more paper, more cardstock to mine. And um, mine is going to be embellished different from whoever else is doing this. Mine is going to be embellished different. So I just want to be fair and honest about it. So I am going to glue. Can you guys see me? Oh, you can see me. I am gluing my pocket down. Okay, we got the pocket down there. That's how easy and simple it is. So we're going to put this down. And this just sits right on the top. And all I do is put glue around. And right across here, not too close to the edge. But where it's going to hold my paper in place and glue them down. So we got that. Oh, my mushroom is upside down, sideways. Oh, well. I cut my mushroom sideways. Oh, well. We are going to cut with my scissors. We're trimming out the extra excess. Okay, guys. We got all my scraps over here. We have a pocket. No, that's not going to show up. What's wrong with you? And we have a slip on. A slip. You could do a tuck, not slip, a tuck spot. We have a pocket and a tuck spot. And you could do a pocket in the back. So there you go guys, that's how easy and simple it is to make my pocket. So that's one. We're going to make the other one different way. We're not going to do a tuck spot. We're going to do no tuck spot on this one. So we fold it the opposite way. Okay. This is, this is so easy and simple. You can make, I can make all the one that I got from now until my husband come home. I probably finished it. And all I'm going to do put some glue on the edge, both ends and here. Fold fold okay now what we need to do I am not sure if I want to use the green but all we need to do is glue this I'm gluing, gonna glue the whole thing down And I might add, instead of green, I might add a different color to it. So where's my pieces that I put in here? Where's the whole pieces that I put? Okay, so we got that. We'll trim this off. There's no measuring, there's no no fuss, no muss about this. It's very easy peasy and simple. I am going to add this red up here because I didn't like the green. So I'll add the red in the top here. And we'll show you guys how it works. And if you notice, I'm not going all the way to the end with my glue. So my pocket won't shot, close shut. So we'll put this over here, like so. We'll seal that down. Let's get some pieces so for demonstration. 
Um, Cooperate with me. Cooperate with me. Okay, we got a few pieces. Okay. And this could turn it into a two pocket. You can make a, a three pocket on a, a, a like a tuck, tuck spot, or you can make a two pocket one and one behind. So let's cut this up. Okay guys, there you go, very simple and easy pockets for your junk journal. Um, as you notice, I used up, used some of my um, my paper that in my scrapbooking and um, in my scrap, not scrapbooking, my scrap box. I used this one I bought like uh, maybe last year. Was it last year? I probably bought this. Or was it last year? I don't know. Yeah, last year. I bought this so this come in handy and um, it wasn't bad using that I did I had more than this I sent I did a lot with um, swaps I did a lot of swap uh, and um, junk general pages for swap so I used up a lot of my stuff so those are stuff you guys didn't get to see and uh, when you do swaps you cannot share what you make so there you go guys there's a pocket you could do a pocket in the back like so and you can add your whatever in the top very easy simple quick and easy pocket you see how much i made in how in in it less than the time that i was trying to talk to you guys so these are all the pockets i've been making and I wanted to come along and share with you guys what I've been doing. And um, once I get to the embellish, embellish, embellishment, once I get to the embellish part, I will come back and share with you guys all the um, embellishment I am going to do to these lovely, um, I turn these these into these and then i have these envelopes i turn it into um tuck spots for your junk journal and you can make a bunch of these at once and just put it aside or make it and put it aside and when you're ready for your journal start doing your journal you already got your stuff ready so that's what i'm going to be doing so guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And um, I will come back with some more of uh, different um, embellishment. Embellishment? Recycle envelope pockets. And um, we'll, we're not going to use scrap paper. We're going to use something different. So... Um, I'll show you guys when we get to that video. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.